What's happened? You know, the thing is, you know, um, I don't know how much you know about Christianity, but the idea that we're all united as Christians yes. is false. You know, we're not all united. Um, it's, you know, because I have something in my mouth. No, no, I'm no, opening to breathe. No, no, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, you know, I can't breathe. The thing is, do you know what the gospel is? No, I know, I've heard about it. But. So the gospel is what gets you saved, is that you must be born again. Have you heard of this? You must be born yes, again. Yes. So being born again, it means believing in Jesus, what he did on the cross for us, and you receive the Holy Spirit, and you become a new creation. So to say that Christ is king for Britain, for George, the cross, yeah, is that some sort of um, chanting, you know, of um, ethno-nationalist chanting. And Bob believes in a false Jesus. He believes in a baby Jesus, and he goes down to Mary. So when he's at home in private, he, he, he's like a better man. Do you agree in going down to a woman? Would you go down to me or to a female? Don't you think that's better behavior? You know, you have alpha male yes. and you have beta male. I've never heard about these things, but carry on, please. Yeah, so we believe that he's a false teacher, um, and he, I can list to the heresies he believes in. He believes in evolution, he believes in annihilation, um, and he believes, you know, in the Vatican as well. He says he's not a Catholic. So anyway, so he's a false teacher, many people follow him, um, but he's leading them to damnation, you know, and uh, that's why we speak out against him, because we are concerned, you know, as much as we have concerns about Islam, as you know, our ministry is mainly towards Muslims. Um, there is nothing to gain if you take, let's say, a Muslim out of Islam to take them to a false belief that takes them to hell. I know you don't believe so in hell, can I right? Ask you then, your argument is. You should speak to him on camera, but he will. I have him on camera. Yeah. You I haven't quite shared the video yet. I will share it. Yeah, but th that is not the discussion, so you might you might need your credibility on that. Be careful. I will, well, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it was just... Discuss it with others. They will tell you not to do it. I assure you. But Discuss what? What you're going to show, because that, that might affect your credibility. What, what will? What you recorded. Before. What of you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about being credible. Well, <laughs> I'm, only cred I'm only worried about being honest. Yeah, okay, but anyway, what your argument is Catholic, are they Catholic? Is that what you say? Well, the thing is, because Bob. No, one moment. No, no, I'm yourself. explaining, I'm explaining. Let he would help say, you. no, he would say. Please, I can help you to solve this. I assure you, you will see it in a minute. Look, they're Catholic, yes? Let Let's me say yes or no. no but uh, right. it's gray the area. It's not a yes or no. Uh, he says he never. No, let me explain. He says he's not a Catholic, but he follows Catholic dogma. Do you see? Okay, and the reason why you. he says he's not a Catholic is because he wants Protestants to follow him. Oh. Because if he starts saying I'm a Catholic and I believe in the Vatican, then all the Protestant followers that donate to him, that watch him, they will say, oh. So to say that I believe that all in ecumenism will get him more followers, and it's to do with money. You see that guy with the white beard there? He's against the Catholic Church, right? His name is Jay Smith. And you know what? He won't say on camera that he is against the Catholic Church. Do you know why? It's money. Yes. So. And this is why Jesus, you know, Jesus has to choose between following God and money. When you follow money, you will be corrupt and you will be fake. That's true. However, this is my, my basic understanding. Look, yeah. you correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Here is Jesus, yeah? Yeah. You Christian, yes? Yeah. So you directly connect yourself to Jesus, yes? Yeah. So Catholic, how do they connect themselves? Well they believe that when they go to the mass in church, yeah, and they drink the wine and eat the bread, that, that that's how they connect. You know, the so, no, in Is it directly church. still no, or via not. Mary? Via Mary or that's via it. bread and wine that's in church. It. So, and this is problematic. So yours is more yeah, and do you see the difference? Yes, now because I see. I say to you, this applies to Shia, as in Shia is like that. Yeah, they believe in uh, dead people prayers. Yeah. yeah. Sunday is direct, I yeah. think. 
that is Shia a major is difference. You know, the Bible says, God said that I am a jealous God and I will not share my glory with anyone. And he says not to commit idolatry. So he, when you worship Mary, it's called necromancy. You know what necromancy is? No. It's when you pray, when you make contact with dead people, oh. right? So this is how perversity becomes. If you make contact with Mary, you might hear Mary, but it's actually a demon. Oh. Do you see how dangerous it becomes? So what do you suggest or what do you propose or what's your... I, I say to people that seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Or even if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, ask God to reveal himself to you. You don't need to, uh, you know, lift the black stone in Mecca, yeah. which is perverted as well as... Uh, Same, yeah. You know, or to kiss the feet of the Statue of Mary. Just seek God, just say, God, please help me. And then I believe Jesus will reveal himself to Okay, you. so what's the ar counter argument against you, those um, people? They will say that um, the Catholic Church is ancient. We gave you the Bible. John knows more about this than me. Right. But we say that God gave us the Bible. But at the end of the day, these people are idolaters. You know what idolaters yes. mean? Leaving something. Well, idolaters mean that you worship a creation rather than the creator yeah. and this is how dangerous Bob is you so see. what do they believe in well, worshiping what something is well, what's they, that? Say they worship God by a bread wine and by a dead so people. those are idolaters those idolaters, are idolaters yes. okay. we believe as a Christian we believe in having a relationship with Jesus Christ okay now are you I live understand. streaming or video? yes yes live okay so live uh, and that's why, you know, and the thing is, um, I know it is, um, I know it comes across as contentious. Many people are like, oh, how can you do this in us? You know, they're being fake because they also believe that what I say is true. But in order not to show themselves as weak in front of the Muslim, they're like, not in front of the Muslim. I find that cowardice. So why don't you say that's fine? Let's sit down and talk, resolve this. Because he won't talk about in it a, in public. In a private. We spent, so just no, a first point. in a pro private. We've done two years of oh, yeah. private. Okay. And this is, I know that my method may not be a, a perfect, but we've spoken to Bob for two years. And he will promote his heresies in public. He won't talk about it. Notice how Bob ran away from us. Okay. So is that only you two, or there are many people like you? There will be a few people, but me and John, we have the balls to do it. Because you, 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 know you have discovered this, you mean? Well, no, there are other people like Sarah, Yes. But there are other people who believe in what we believe in, but they don't have the guts to do it. Because why? Because I can guarantee you, big nose, that I will lose subscribers today. I will lose followers, and people will hate on me. And that's what it takes, no, unfortunately. To I would disagree because if you firmly, resolutely, you believe in what you you know, following. Therefore, those people will actually give you credit, I would say. A minority do, a minority do, but the majority, they will be very angry and they will say, how can you do this? Therefore, this, therefore, you will explain yourself to them. Yeah, the but the thing is, you know, most people are sh sheep and stupid. I'm sorry yeah. to say, most people will follow, um, you know, how did we get to Nazism and Hitler? Because most people follow this great leader who had a great propaganda and look where it led. So this is a problem when you follow people and you can't challenge them. You know, I believe in free speech, but I believe that him, he should have the balls to be challenged by John. Yeah. And he doesn't. And he was driven out by, by a woman and a man from Speaker's Corner. So for Look, me, he's a little mouse. He can be a big man in front of the Muslims. In reality, I think what Bob, you you're a little mouse. Upon is this. That's it's what money. is involved. Yes, there Otherwise. is money. I tell you what, Bob gets a few thousand pounds of donations every month, um, and he doesn't monetize his channel. But a lot of these teachers, even David Wood, I'm sorry to say, is big money. So there is so much money. They get so much money from donations. And this is why, when even though they agree with us, when 50% of Christians are Catholic, they will not speak against them because you will lose money and followers. And this is why I say, I have a full-time job, John also does something else, you know, and this, you know, we were, we do this for free um, because um, if you do things for money, something like this, it you can easily become corrupt because you have too much to lose. And this is the reality, unfortunately. But you never know. You just need to wait for the reaction. I think you might find it, you know, the tides are turning. 
to your side. So you wait for it. I will see it. Because if you have, if you see, you need to be able to convince, as you said, the sh goats and the sheep. Yeah. You see, if you can manage that, you know, you might enlighten a lot of people by well, your own deeds. Well, I, I, I hope so. What I encourage is free speech and debate. So what I find cult behavior is this, is what he does, is to promote a cult, which is Islam. Islam is a cult. Why? Yeah, okay. Because you can't question it. So no if he's question. doing the same behavior that he promotes a cult and you can't question him, That's this right. is satanic. I believe in free speech and debate different views. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, um, Thank you What's for your conclusion? Me. My conclusion, as a Christian, I have to call people to repentance. I believe in hell and heaven. I believe that, um, you know, that we're here to get back right with God. If not, we will perish. Do you now agree, believe in hell or heaven? Or not yet? Or you don't not know? yet. I'm working on it. Yeah, the thing is, do you agree that you will get old and, or maybe you will die sooner, but yes. you're decaying? Well, of course. Yes, yeah. yeah, so our body decays, yes. and so there is no good prospect. In life, even if you get one billion pounds, you will eventually be if you make it to the old age, 90 years old. And so have, I'm, I'm so, looking for peace, but peace even, and tranquility. Yes, I agree with you. But even let's say you're old and accomplished, you will be scared of dying. Maybe you're not today. Yes, because but you don't, you can't say what. Correct what you're saying, but that is what I have to. Uh, if I accept, you see, the thing is, the difference between me and the others. I have accepted life is difficult. What you yeah. said is correct, it's fearful, you know, death, all that. You lose your parents, sisters, brothers, and so on, or even pets you attach to. Yeah. I accepted that, that life is torment, yeah. struggle. Yeah. I accepted that, you see? Yeah. But people who don't es accept, they, they escape. They escape to suicide, commit suicide, for example some people yeah and other people is religion because they don't want to accept what i've just said you know so what they do they take refuge in religions you understand because they don't want to accept so they have to convince themselves with some yeah but he lives i i but for you it's different for you is faith you see yeah but i i because understand. your basis for your faith is happiness you understand yours is yeah happiness. i mean but i would say is because I have the Holy Spirit and I would say to you I understand your view and it's a good way to be humble and be you know uh, realistic let's say with the reality but you can't explain the origins of why you're here who made you and this idea that we evolved from nothing it doesn't make sense but and it makes sense when you have the faith that's what I said but is, would so, you agree that you also have if you believe let's say yeah. you believe in evolution let's say I assume maybe you don't then that's also a system of religion and faith because you just don't know. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Because I don't know, I've accepted this life is struggle, yeah. difficult. So what do I have to do? Further my education, gain qualifications, find a good work. Or if I don't have education qualifications, what do I do? Find out what skills do I have. You know, be useful, be useful, find me, create a meaningful life for myself. I would say so to you, I, like I would say that even, you know, as somebody who has a career and a degree, I'm educated, I have a nice job, yeah. and I have a house, I have kids, I'm accomplished. I would say to you, all these things are meaningless, because eventually you will, if you get to the old age, be in a care home or dying. Yes. And it doesn't matter everything you've achieved, you will still be on your own. Yeah. Yes. Facing the uncertainty, and I say to you to seek Jesus Christ, yes. or if you don't want to seek Him, seek God. Yes. And pray, I follow. And he will really, I, I, really for your information, you. I actually I need to show you, but uh, uh, I follow a part of a man actually called. If you must know, there you go. See that? I follow a path of a perfect man, you understand? Not yeah. as a god yet or anything like that. So did you, did you read the gospel I gave you a few months ago? No, I haven't read anything because I've been in, in, uh, busy 
because I'm working on the uh, Islam. I'm going to finish the first Islam and then move on to the others. Yeah, I mean, Islam is a force and it's a joke. And for me, my conclusion with Islam is that, you know, as I put on my channel, that the black stone is Allah. You know, they go down to it, they kiss it, they lick it, um, you know, and it's a vagina. You know, it's actually, historically, um, it was the black, the black cube was the, a woman and a vagina. And that's, you know, they did sexual rituals outside doing paganism. And that's why they go naked with, you know, just, uh, you know, they used to, you know, even have sex outside it. And this is why they kiss it, you know, they're pleasuring the goddess of Allah so that she will, you know, reward. Them. And they would say that I'm sick for doing saying this, but you know this is Islam for me, my conclusion. Yes, absolutely, my elder. Anyway, thank you. Okay, God bless All the best. you. Thank you. Excuse me, madam. These are my reporting at Christian, not Trinitarian, because I have a policy Jesus. They have a